case I've been looking for you, you. Whoa, whoa, oh, 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 Mm. Um, this good Shemay Rico. I'm still in a little spot here. While the sun is out, I'm gonna stay over here because it's pretty nice over here. So I still got my waterfall back there. And uh, just, uh, you know, enjoying my Friday. Venus, sweetheart, how you doing? Uh, hmm. This is a good day to get a stroll on, isn't it? But that lady over there walking that dog, I'm going to wait a minute. Um, all right, let me get to this. Um, Joe Cavan, what's up? Now, I keep telling y'all. No, y'all can y'all see for y'all self. I don't, know, I don't know why I keep telling to all you Joe Biden lovers, you, you staunch Democratic black folks. And you know who in love with white liberals and Democrats. Uh, I can, and I've always posed the question. I have to wonder why. Um, if you are a heterosexual, masculine man, straight man, why are you voting Democrat? Because there's nothing about nothing about the Democratic Party that says that uh, Demille, what's, what's that, Demille? Drexel Milton, what's up? You new? I, again, I don't understand. If you are a heterosexual black male, why are you supporting the Democratic Party? There's nothing about the Democratic Party that, that, that actually supports being heterosexual, masculine and male, being a nuclear family, you know, mother, father, and child. There's nothing about that party that says I support that because they are, every time you look around, they're doing something totally against God and nature. But yet, y'all want to constantly tell us how terrible Trump is. Oh, they're Republican. One thing I know about the Republican Party is they don't play with the foolishness. And they are nobody to be defended. To be defended. However, we're not going to ignore the Democratic Party with all the obvious things that they do. To break down the American family, they certainly break down the black family. You know, <laughs> Uh, and uh, and so apparently, based on the the latest vote that took place, I guess in the House and Congress, the Republicans voted to end transgender dudes from participating in women's sports, as well as protect your little girls from transgender dudes going in the girls' bathroom. Uh, <laughs> and so, but here's what's interesting about it. In that whole house, not one Democrat voted for that bill to be made a law. And guess what? Jim Crow Joe, Dementia Joe, if you don't know the if you don't know to vote for me, you ain't black. Um, there's super predators prowling around our communities. I don't care how they got there; they can get treatment when they're in jail. What else that son of a bitch say? <laughs> there was derogatory. Oh yeah, yeah. By by 2050, America's really gonna be in bad shape. Not just because of black people. Did y'all hear what I said? Not just because of black people. And then you're going to have to, you know, when, when the question of reparations comes around, he says, well, you're going to have to get work with the Hispanics and the Asians. <laughs> oh, come on, man. You know, that Jim Crow Joe, Dementia Joe. But y'all always trying to get, get people, get gas like black people. Donald Trump is Satan. Donald Trump and the Republican Party. Yeah, they're some sons of bitches. They are. They're acting a clown in Mississippi. They're acting a goddamn fool in the state of Tennessee. But one thing about those damn Republicans, they believe in a natural family. They do. You don't have to worry about that. And then, yeah, there are some gay and closeted Republicans. 
Uh, damn, what's his name? Lindsey Graham. Oh, uh, well, they, they people just make fun of him, but I'm not going to say Lindsey Graham out loud. I'm just saying. They're saying Lindsey Graham might be on a uh, good ship. A rainbow lollipop. It's some Skittles that he loves to pop. But in a fun, fun way, people say they say Leslie, what's it? Something Graham is gay. That's what people say. Um, however, but they do. <laughs> and so, but the Democratic Party fool black folks like they give a shit. The only thing they care about is single mothers, LGBTQ, immigrants, Ukraine, nothing for black people. So if you're going to accuse Republicans, they don't care about blacks. Well, one thing about it, they say it to your face. But the Democratic Party tells you, you know, behind your back. Or, hold on a second, y'all. Hold on. You know, so, you know, might well go third party, whatever. But I'll still always pose the question. If you are supposed to be a heterosexual, masculine man, black man, why the fuck are you still a Democrat if you are? You got to explain that to you, boy. Because I see every day that they do everything to work against the black family, the family, American family, period. And so, to finish up on what the Republicans have done and Democrats didn't do, all the Republicans voted to make sure girls' forces are for girls. Biological girls with vaginas, with services, were born girls. Not the little strong wrist, heavy shoulder, strong jaw ass, heavy knees ass dudes who were not man or boy enough to compete as a man or a, boy, a biological boy. So he punked out, no pun intended, and went over to the girl side and started running over the girls and track and swimming and everything, and everything else. And so I just read a post where allegedly, when it comes to his desk, Joe Biden is going to veto that bill because he wants boys to be in the locker room with your girls. All the boy has to do is put on a wig and just hold his dick while your daughter get undressed in her ninth grade volleyball locker room, her cheerleader locker room, her track locker room, and he grabs it and go in the bathroom and beat off what he's looking at in, the, in, your, in your daughter's locker room. But the Democratic Party is a cool party to be a part of, right? A party of perverts. Yes, a lot of Republicans are staunch racists, but a lot of Democrats are are racist as F. They don't care about black folks as long as you feel like you're benevolent to them or you below them. That's the only reason they care about you. Y'all listen to these two dudes that these three people that just got kicked out the state house. They don't talk about black, which are you know white folks, black folks, gays, trans, and whoa, 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 brother, whoa. What the fuck are you talking about? You're in a district that's 60, 61% black. How the fuck are you talking about? I'm there to represent everybody. Everybody didn't put you in the state house. And we always have black politicians who go under the Democratic banner. They come out of black environments. And then they get their ass in the mayor's office, become state representative fucking city council that was voted in by 99% black people out of a 70% black environment and get to talking that we I'm here to represent everybody that don't make that don't make y'all suspicious of these motherfuckers huh but no but y'all really just sit in and call look at me like I'm the one with the problem you know you say your kids are in the car with you hey all right, turn the volume down, Joe. I don't want my, I don't want the, I, I'm just not reading this. Hey, ladies. And they can probably tell you, yeah, daddy. They be trying to, um, <laughs> they be trying to look at us if they, if your daughters are, are still, if they're still in school, high school. But I think they grown now, right? But anyway, shout out to your daughters, man. What's up? Tell your wife I say hello, too, because she's grand fam. Tell I said what's up. Uh, but anyway, yeah, man. This is crazy. <laughs> so I don't understand it's insane and I don't know how long black people are going to be this slow we, we, it's like they don't even try anything different on us we just as if we're just programmed like I just saw the movie I Robot was that right yeah with Will Smith and all the robots 
uh, wanted to be human and they got they were programmed to feel and have a conscience. Hell, they do better than we do. Because we act like we don't have good sense. Me saying don't get off the me telling you to get off the Democratic plantation is not telling you to jump on a Republican ship. I'm telling you, let's be more intelligent, let's get some black unity and start voting in a way that's most beneficial to our values. I know we don't care about that stuff. I know we don't care about no trans. I know I know we have strong feelings about it, but we don't act like it politically. Say what you want to say about the Republican Party, and I'm not a promoter of it, I'm just living reality. Those people, those conservatives don't play that. Now, they might drink a gallon of racism and spit it in people's face all day long, but they don't play that trans and and, and fake boys and fake girl miss and, and come to their school like they're going to run something and all that. They don't play that. So how come you play it, Christian black? How come you play it, Muslim black? How come you do it? That's weird. And when you say, Ivan, vote your, vote your interests, black people don't even know what their interests are. Because all, we're always told what our interests are. And then I want to separate from that. Black men need to vote our interests. Because Democratic black women don't have the same Democratic or, or political interests than black boys and black men. They vote for themselves. They align themselves with white liberal women. They align themselves with LGBT white women. That's what they do. They don't align themselves with black men. What that little bitch Tiffany Cross say? Black men, y'all listen to Tariq Lashie and you listen to Kevin Samuel. Why don't y'all all get behind black women on their program? And now they have been fired. Then what you get, Tiffany Cross? You don't disrespect black men like that. We don't have, we're the leaders. We don't get behind no damn woman. No offense to the female gender. I'm just saying. Not no Democratic woman. No, hell, this is the wrong lot of you, lot of you so-called modern sister today. Y'all need to get a man to get behind. You need to get a man to get some covering, so you have to yell, need to protect black women. Need to protect black women. Well, if you get you a man, or you make sure your children have fathers, your daughters have fathers, you have to be screaming about, protect black women. Only you loose cigarette chicks out here, you know what a loose cigarette is? That get away from the pack. Y'all the ones that need all this damn protection. And then you, then you loose cigarette chicks. Y'all ain't smart enough to even smile at a man. Batch your allies, say hello really sweetly, so he'll want to protect you. So anyway, for those of you who had not seen that, that, that bit of news yet, I saw it on Fox News, because somehow um, CNN, I, I had Fox News on when I was in the gym earlier. Fox News was on, and CNN was on, and I waited to see if CNN was going to talk about it. They didn't. Then I went to social media, I saw it again. So yeah. And then, oh yeah. Mary Max, hey, I'm, t I'm sorry, but I need you to close your ears on this for Mary Max. I know, you know, you like Hakeem Jeffries, the great scholar who's the son of the great African Center scholar, Dr. Leonard Jeffries. What's up, brother? He up there, mad because of them voting to keep trans dudes out of women's sports. Go look at the video, Mary Max. She got mad. He was up there speaking for the Democrats. Hakeem Jeffries, don't, Jeffries, don't let those people use you, bro. They're not going to take. They're not going to elevate you any farther than what you are in their party. I know you probably think they're going to make you speak of the house or maybe make you a candidate or something. No. You know how they do us blacks. They let they use us to be the front man to, to take all the bullets. And then we get riddled all over bullets and they move and put somebody else in it. That's how both parties do black folks. But again, I just want y'all to know, go go look it up for yourselves. I'm just giving my thoughts on it. And again, y'all know I'm anti-democrat. I know I'll never vote for a democratic female. That ain't happening. Ever. And I, and I don't know about voting for a democratic dude. I don't, I don't trust these little young democratic dudes. Because they all got this, it's something different about them. Black folks, white folks, queer, trans, LGBT, what the fuck's that got to do with reparations? What's that got to do with black people? Especially if you come out of a district or a city that's 70% black and you're talking about um, what you gonna do for everybody. My whole town of Memphis got that bad. 
soon, soon you vote in a black person, mayor, city council for the world, talking about what they're going to do for all people. I'm for all the people. And all the people don't vote you in. Get out of here. Hell, all the black Democrats vote for Joe Biden. Vote Joe Biden signed laws for LGBT the first two weeks there. Asians the next month there. And then gave billions of dollars to white Jews and white folks in Ukraine. And black ghettos are still suffering. Can't even get grand dollars without being told, you got to pick yourself up by your bootstraps. But they're giving away billions of dollars to white folks in European countries. And your same Joe Biden, these Democrats are trying to force black people in Africa to accept homosexuality. They're trying to threaten them with embargoes because they won't allow same-sex marriages, gay people to, to adopt kids. <laughs> but y'all are Democrats, right? Y'all get out of here. Get some sense. Yeah, what you say, uh, Mary Max? He said he has been receiving a side eye from me. I haven't seen the life of which he follows. Hold on, Mary Max. I want to. His uncle is turning over in his grave. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, it's the foolishness. So I'm just saying, y'all, 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 hey. And then I think next Tuesday, Jim Crow Joe is expected, come on, somebody, to announce that he's going to try to crawl, drag, use a walk or wheelchair and run for president again next year. Lord Jesus. Well, it's for y'all because I don't vote for him no way. But that's for y'all, okay? But anyway, this week, I'm Rico the Opinionist. I'm going to come back in a little bit. Like my, my phone is going down here. And I'm going to enjoy the rest of the sun. Y'all be cool. Uh, we'll talk again in the future. Like, share, and subscribe. This your man. would say Joe Biden is... And the Democratic Party are cancerous to the Negro, to the Negro and African communities. I concur, Mary Max. And with that, y'all be cool. Like, share, and subscribe on my YouTube channel, my Rico DePina's Facebook group. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Talk to y'all later. Peace.